Hello everybody and welcome to 2D Tutorials in Unity. In this episode we're gonna work on creating the ground check for the 2D controller. Let's go! So far we've managed to create this little fella who has a moving and running mechanics along with integrating both running and walking animations. Right now we're gonna try to implement the jumping, crouching along with ground checking. Uh, I want to uh, say a couple of things I'm, I've done is I've added two more floors in here and three floors in here so we can do the crouching and the jumping testing after we finish them. Also I've added the background and here it's basically one of the images that comes with the assets but I'm going to disable it in the editor here and so we have more of a visual debugging. And let's go into the script. The main concept of of jumping and crouching is we need to have constraints and that constraint is that ground checking. What that means is we have to find out if the character is standing on the floor and then for that we have to do several steps. The first step is we have to identif identify that this is an actual floor. Uh, I've jumped into and made these changes already but I'm going to just re remove it here. What we need to do is we have to click on the layer, add layers, and we have to add something called ground. It doesn't matter wherever you want to put it, but choose something that fits your naming. I, I named the ground, you can go with floor, depends however you want it. And you can either select all these objects or just get the parent, get here, ground, and yes, children, change the children. So what this does, it actually applies the layer to all these objects. You can see they're all part of the grounding. So this is the first step. We have to identify this as the flooring. The next step is we need to uh, build a mechanic that lets us know that the lower part of the character is touching this floor. And then we have to raise a flag, which is a boolean, says he's grounded. For that, it's quite simple. What we need to do is we're going to use something called overlap circles and using the physics 2D. For that thing, we're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to reverse explain it. So what we need to do, we need to create an empty game object inside the fox. Let's call it ground check. We have to bring it down until we have. I mean, it doesn't have to be exactly here, but it has to be in the lower part of his feet. What this is gonna do is, we're gonna do from a checking from inside the script on this object. We're gonna create a temporary circle that kind of collide with anything that touches and then if it touches the floor which is any one of these stuff we say he's grounded otherwise it's not grounded so let's jump into the script do all these things first thing is I want to create a separate method for this I'm going to call it ground check and in here what we're going to do is we're going to basically um, check if the uh, ground check object is colliding with other col 2D colliders with that has or actually it, that that are in the ground layer. So if yes is grounded true else is grounded false so this is the main idea of the whole thing so what we need we need several things here first thing we have to initiate we have to initiate a boolean called is grounded we go up here called is grounded not that grounded it by default it's false and then we have to get the transform object. We can get game object, but I'll go with transform because it's used for positioning. So we're going to go with transform ground check. Let's see what we call it. Let's name it collider. Right, that's much nicer. One of the cool stuff is, I think I mentioned before, is we need to have the serialized field here so we can actually reference it from the inspector itself. And if we, before I go 
do other stuff. There was something actually I miss did I didn't do correctly in the previous episode is w while using the fixed update, we should use o we should always use the fixed delta time because it's it's more relatable for physics based uh, interactions and it it's basically the the amount of time that happened from the last fixed update cycle so this is the only thing I actually want to change uh, let's get back to here so we don't lose all the tracks of our information what we need to do is we need to actually check we have to go do this basically we have to initiate a 2d collider array called colliders and we go with physics 2d that overlap all overlap circles all so for this one we're gonna check if that circle or basically if that object which is what we did in the inspector the ground check is overlapping with circles or like if overlapping sorry, with with a lot of colliders so we want to store all of them in here I'll explain why we used all because there's another method called overlap circle because in our game we might have a lot of other things in here right and we want to make sure that we actually detect everything not just one thing we might have like uh, bottles boxes and stuff they also have colliders so we're back in here so we did this we have to pass by default two things the point where we wanna check the origin point of the check and the radius so the origin point is this thing so what we need to do we need to get this ground check collider and we have to do the position and the radius we're not gonna go with large radiuses we're gonna go with small ones because this is unity measurement radius so we're not gonna we're not gonna go with one or two or three we can go with this really small one because our character is small and again this va this value is up to debate so it depends on how big is your character or how like all this stuff but mainly 1.2 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 are the main values we don't go with 0 0.2 but we don't want this to be in here we want to have it more of a saved value here but we're not going to change it so i'm going to keep it as const float let's name it ground check radius let's keep it 0 0.2 and we have this here the other thing is we want to make sure that we're checking only objects with the layer that's called ground so what we need to do we need to create something here called layer mask and we're going to name it ground layer uh, not ground ground layer and that's it uh, but we need to actually be able to modify this from the inspector so we'll make it serializable we go back here and if we click the comma we can see we need to add the integer value of layer mask so we add this in here and we're good so what, what's happening here whenever we're checking this with this radius and we see if anything that has this layer store them in this array so what we're gonna do is uh, for this purpose if we're getting anything in this collide in this array whether it's one two three or five colliders that means we're touching the floor because we're only checking that the objects that has layer ground and so the simplest way to do this is we can check if we have any entries in here we can go with if colliders that length bigger than zero that means we're grounded okay so what we need to do here is grounded equals true so that's it uh, one of the cool f one of the stuff that we have to take in mind is we need to f actually find a way how to disable this because let's say we're standing on the floor and then we we're now grounded but if we jumped it has to disable right there's a lot of multiple ways you can do this in multiple places but the one of the easiest way is to disable it before you check the floor so we go the ground equals false not facing false so with this way we can make sure that even if we jump we ha we don't have any problems because 
by default it's gonna stop it it's gonna make it false so what means if we're on a floor if we're not on a floor this is false and then it checks yes we're on the floor if we jump it's all always false but we're not on the floor so it's always false it's uh, it's as simple as that so I'm gonna delete these stuff actually not really you can just organize these things so with this we can make sure that we're checking the ground I'm gonna put it before the moving uh, ground check so with this we're ready to have the ground check here so what I want to do also I want to make sure that I want to be able to see this only for now in the editor just for the debug reasons to see if it works or not remember we did this thing here ground check we put it on the on the feet of this fox so we're gonna use this if you go to the script we get this ground check and we put it in the ground check collider this is the original point that's gonna emit a small circle and gonna it's gonna check everything the second thing is we have to decide on the layer that we're gonna check the ground from so we're gonna go with ground because that's the one we put in here because all of them are ground if you see on the top right so what we can do right now is we can just play the game and then see this boolean in here on the right side if it gets enabled so right now it's true because we're on the floor so if you walk around everything's fine but now we don't have the jumping so we can't test it so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna hold this guy upwards so you see it's false true off the floor on the floor that's it we have a ground check mechanics in here I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to see more smash the like and subscribe button see you guys in the next one bye bye